Welcome guys, today I am with Motorola Edge 40 Pro and I'm gonna show you a few camera tips and tricks. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start with the standard photo mode and uh, right here we can quickly adjust the brightness level. Take a look. We can just click on the screen once and move this icon up and down to decrease or increase brightness level. You can do this automatically by tapping on the screen two times. The next option will be about the volume buttons. They are located right here on the right side. When you click volume up or volume down, you can take photo. When you click and hold one of these buttons, you will be moved to the video mode. And when you click and hold this button one more time, you are going to move to the photo mode. Take a look. When you click and hold the volume down button, you are going to take a series of the photos. And you can take over 100 photos. Next, we can click and hold the shutter, and we can also do the same, take series of the photos. Next, we can simply adjust zoom feature. So as you can see, we can switch to the ultra wide lens, wide lens, telephoto lens, and we can also take macro photos. But when you click and hold one of the selected presets, for example, the One X, we will unlock this slider. And with this slider, we can smoothly zoom in and zoom out from the 0.X to the 6, 16X. So that's how we can do this with the zoom feature. When we focus on this icon, as you can see, we can simply adjust color and the temperature. For example, this one look cool. I'm gonna take photo. There it is. To get original look, just go for the first option. Next, we can also enable camera timer between three or 10 seconds by tapping on this icon. And after that, just click on the shutter. So as you can see, that's how it works. When I open this menu, I can simply adjust other options. Like for example, I can switch aspect ratio. Take a look how it works right now. You can also get full screen of your camera preview. But you have to remember that each time you change the preset, you are also changing the photo quality. And the best quality you will have on the default aspect ratio that's the 3 by 4 I think that right now we can simply go to the settings so tap on the settings icon and here we can go for example for the AI settings where we can enable gesture selfie so right now when I enable this option and then switch to the selfie camera I can simply take photos by using palm of my hand we have to wait until it will be detected Okay, looks like it's not working for the photo mode. Let's switch to the portrait mode. Okay, and it's still not working. So that's uh, that's funny, but unfortunately in the Motorola phones, that's that's happened. I mean, you can find that this option is not working properly. Um, when you try this option on the Samsung phone, for example, it works all the time. So Motorola, you have to fix that fix that issue you can tell me in the comments if this feature works in your case okay let's move on uh, let's go for example let's switch to the video mode nope we can go to the capture settings I guess yeah and right here we can enable other useful options like for example tap anywhere to capture grid lines camera leveler and take a look right now the grid lines appears on the screen and they help us basically to take better composition on the photos and the tap to capture works like that. You can just click on the screen once and you will take photos. So basically you don't have to use this bottom shutter. It will be useful when you hold the phone with one hand. The, the phone is big, so you can do this just like that. And right now, that's all from the settings. I can recommend you to go to the more modes just right here. And if you want to get more details on your photos, you can use the ultra resolution mode. Take a look. And this mode allows us to get more details on the photos. You can just simply just zoom in and take a look. 
import the details right here and we can just make comparison between this photo and the normal photo as you can see we cannot zoom in that close in this normal mode the next option that will be probably useful that's definitely the dual capture so when you open this mode you are able to take photos or record video from the two cameras at the same time you can also change theme so basically you can get this rear camera bigger preview and move the selfie camera to this small small preview on the right up corner but you can also do this like that you can split screen and as I said before, we can also use this mode to record videos. So yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you like it. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel.